In this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use jQuery to create a tab similar to this. So you've got different tabs at the front and as you click on different ones it reveals the content inside and obviously when we create our own we can put much more content in there including images and all sorts. Okay, So this is a quick example of what we'll be creating. The first thing we need to do is go to jQueryUI.com which is jQuery user interface and this is an official website for jQuery and go inside and press the themes button right here once we're on the themes button we get an option where we can actually download different jQuery objects including accordions and tabs and dialog and, and so on sliders and these are all part of a package so we can add these different elements onto our website to make it look consistent so different things so this is the tab section what I'm going so what we can do is actually roll your own which is right here and create a uh, different themes for that we we like I'm just gonna click on one that we've uh, one that's uh, predefined and I'm just downloading this one so I downloaded this one earlier and when I downloaded it I got this zip file right here I extracted everything in the zip file and this is the file right here so over here you've got the CSS and this is the CSS file right here you've got the jQuery or the JavaScript uh, JavaScript libraries right in here so these are the two jQuery files inside there and so on there's a de development bundle with all sorts of demos and stuff you guys can check out but what I've gone and done is put this into Dreamweaver so just going to open up my Dreamweaver and one of the pages that we get initially is this index page right here so I'm just gonna load up the index page and hit the F12 key which will load this up in a browser so you can see that this is an example of everything that is inside this bundle so you've got our tabs the dialog bu button and so on the slider um, the date picker and so on the progress bar okay so let's get started in cr on creating our own the first thing I'm going to do is press file and new and I'm going to create a new HTML document and I'm going to hit the create button first thing I need to do is link this to the CSS page inside the package that we just downloaded so I'm going to press this attach CSS button right here hit the browse button and just to show you guys when you first load it up it will be inside the CSS start and jQuery UI custom so that is the CSS style sheet okay hit the OK button and press OK so going inside the code view this is the line of code that we have attached what I'm going to do now is link it to our J, uh, the jQuery uh, so the first thing I need to do is pointy uh, brackets or whatever they are script and we are going to actually define a type and it's JavaScript and also a source browse JS and that's the first one that I've done okay and then go and close the script tag slash script and I need to do the exact same thing for the second jQuery library uh, file I'm just going to paste the first one over what I'm going to do is the source section I'm just going to delete that just going to go on to sources again browse and just going to source the second one okay so once we've got them three lines of code we need to actually start typing in our jQuery so I'm just going to type in script this is a little bit re repetitive and the type is JavaScript I'm just gonna close this tag just in, just so I don't forget okay so now we're ready to actually start typing in some jQuery what I'm going to do is put the dollar sign in open and close my uh, brackets speech marks and inside the speech marks I'm going to type in document
and then I'm going to call the ready t uh, class so so when this document is ready I want something to happen what I want to happen is a function and this function So this is the syntaxes for the document.ready and function. So the function we're going to be calling this time is the tabs function. And the jQuery UI file has made it really easy for us. So we're going to go in there and we're going to call the everything with the tag ID. Oh sorry, it should be the tabs ID and dot and we're just going to call the tabs function and don't forget the semicolon okay so that's our jQuery actually typed in now we're actually going to go inside and make our tabs themselves so the first thing I'm going to do is going to create a div and the way I do that is press the layout and I'm going to press the this button right here and then type in tabs as my ID and press OK. Now this tabs that I've just going back into the code view, this tabs is referenced to this tabs right here. So this hash tabs is referenced to this ID. Okay, so that's something we need to keep in mind. So this function will be called the tabs function will be called to everything that has the tabs ID. So this is that div that we've just created. And inside this div we're going to add a few more of our our um, divs but before I go and do that I'm just going to add a, an ordered list which is this one right here an ordered list and I'm just going to type in first second third and I'm, I need to actually make the first, second, and third um, list objects as links. So I'm just going to type in hash, and this is very important that we actually type in tabs slash one, okay? And the exact same thing has to be done for the second one. Oops. Don't know why I pasted the wrong thing in there. It should be tab, sorry, hash tabs slash two hash tabs slash three okay now adding a hash sign in front of a link makes it a link that doesn't go anywhere so it's going to create a, a link that does not go anywhere but it's actually going to the tabs three okay so now we're ready to create our three additional divs so what I'm going to do is go into the layout section and press insert div tag and this tag is going to have an ID of um, tabs slash one and the second one will have just going to go and press right there tabs slash two and yep you've guessed it one more tab slash three So now we've got our three tabs and they have got three unordered list objects that have links referring to them. We've put in our jQuery information. I'm going to hit the F12 key and press save. So okay, you can see that the tabs have been created, tab first, second and third. We can actually go in and add some CSS to actually modify the way that looks. Um, okay, so I hope you guys have enjoyed that tutorial. Make sure you comment, rate and subscribe.